Hey guys, it's Aria. It's been a really long time since I last uploaded, so here is another video. The reason behind the late upload is that I really wanted to post a video about organizing my room first since we moved houses and I thought it would be fun to show you a before and after or even how I design my room or what my vision is for my room. But since I have no budget, let's start with this instead. By the way, congratulations on the 800 subscribers. Thank you to all my now 800 and above friends. It means a lot to me. Anyway, without further ado, this is how I prepare for a semester. I was actually supposed to make a video uh, last semester, but I got really lazy and tired so instead i guess we are a semester late as you all guys know i am a first year student in the ateneo de manila university before every semester there is enlistment where you get to enlist or choose the professors for your subjects you have to prepare for this because slots get taken up really fast especially if the professor is known to be legendary I think most colleges have an enlistment period. It depends on the university. So what I like to do is create a Notion page specifically for ranking the subjects and professors I want to take. This was the Notion page I made for last semester. Indicated here would be the subject I need to choose a professor from. It is in table view so I could see all the information I need. This is the ranking. Of course, one is the highest, so it is my top priority. It's important to have backup choices in case something changed in the last minute or if you ran out of slots. Both of these occurrences are common during enlistment because as upperclassmen stated, it is like the Hunger Games. This is the section, the specific subject, the name of the professor, the schedule, both the day and time, because we don't want two or more subjects colliding, and then the comment given about them. In Ateneo, we have a page dedicated to giving reviews about certain professors. This page is absolutely helpful since it's what I base my choices on. But of course, each review is biased so you take it with a grain of salt. Especially during this online setup, the reviews we get from the professors uh, come from face-to-face uh, -face classes. So we don't really know how they teach or what their style during the online setting. So it became really difficult to weigh my options. The only subjects I will be enlisting in are foreign language and PE. I decided to take up Japanese for my foreign language because I plan to study there soon. Maybe a prospective vlog, I don't know, we'll see. And yoga or core for my PE. The fun actually starts after enlistment since that's the time you get to organize or customize your own notion page and folders and notebooks. But before that, I want to show you the daunting, terrifying, horrible, traumatizing enlistment period. So here's me enlisting. Okay, so I'm back. Um... Ooh, Gabby, I'm so nervous. My hands are shaking. My hands are ready for Command F. It's um, time check. It's 12.59. I will be reloading it at 12.59, uh, 57 seconds because it takes 3 seconds to uh, reload. Yes, you need that kind of meticulous preparation, especially for enlistment. Oh my god, it's so okay, 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 okay. I'm just reloading it okay. okay it's one oh my god the internet it's not me and listen 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 class i understand proceed okay uh enlist in 
foreign language, command F, uh, enlist. Oh my god, uh, submit enlistment. Confirm enlistment. Okay, oh my god. Yes, okay, go back to enlistment page. Now I'm going for PE and I'm gonna look for um, Sir Manchas Luis. Yes, I'm taking core. Okay, uh, VQ4, VQ4, this one, enlist. Just checking, um, I have this prepared so I can see. So I got core for my, I got my J Japanese language and culture. Maybe I load rev to quarter three because my quarter four is already in overload. Yeah. I'll get back to you. Phew, that was stressful. My original plan was to take core for PE. Or even yoga, but I accidentally enlisted for the quarter four. And my quarter four is already overloaded. So I ended up in street dance with Professor TBA, the best professor ever. My FLC, on the other hand, was supposed to be in Q3, but instead it ended up in quarter four because there weren't any slots left for quarter three. So, yes, I guess. I don't know if I'll be alive after this semester. See folks, it doesn't always work out for you. Life fucks you over. Gotta deal with it. Anyway, since we're done enlisting, next thing I do is prepare the folders. I have two options for backup. One is my mini USB, which helps the storage of my laptop and Google Drive file stream. Honestly, file stream was the best decision I've ever made. If your school provides you with an education email, you'd have unlimited storage in Google Drive. It's really convenient to have since it embeds onto the file system of your computer. It would look like this. And it kind of becomes a folder in your computer so there is easy transfer and viewing. This will save you a lot of storage. Anyway, I create folders there and in my USB because I'm a paranoid son of a bitch. After that, I also create folders and notebooks in GoodNotes because that's where I do all my notes. After all that, I create my Notion page. Stay tuned for my Notion tutorial video because I will be giving out a free template for all of you. Just give me time for research. I really want to make an informative video. So this was my Notion page for academics. I got this template from Janice Studies, but I added a little spice. It isn't as glamorous as the pages you see on Pinterest, Tumblr, or Notion Twitter because I wanted something direct to the point, something minimalistic, plus I don't want too much clutter on the screen. I also have a page for scheduled meetings or synchronous sessions and a calendar of activities. As you can see, I personalized each subject. I also allotted space for my professor's information. Prof prof yeah, my English is debilitating. 
Okay, from name to contact details. These are my subjects. A table of my school tasks. It has nothing because my semester is just starting, but these were my tasks last semester. Yeah, summary of my breakdowns, I guess. There's also a link here for my course syllabus because, as my professors would say, your syllabus is basically the Bible of your subject, so always have it ready. That's basically it. So yeah, it's online classes, so I don't prepare much, and that I don't really attend classes because I don't learn anything from synchronous sessions. It's so hard to catch up. I have to suffer from laggy audio and there's also a chance they'll call me for recitation and I, and I don't want to take that risk. Well, that's it for a very brief explanation of my preparation. Stay tuned for more videos. Oh, before you go, shout out to 30. Thank you so much for appreciating my videos, even though I'm not really that popular. He DM'd me in IG and we talked all about college and yeah, it was it was a fun conversation. So if you're watching this, thank you so much and I really hope you watch my future videos. Y'all can hit me up too if you'd like. I am a very open and friendly person. <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you.